Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Carlos Phoenix at The Lounge Magazine. Today, we are going to have another day, another episode of One App on the iPhone. Again, I'm putting these episodes together are for you new Verizon users of iPhones. The new guys who've probably never had a touch, probably never touched an Apple product. I want to show you the really good apps that are available for the iPhone. So today, I don't know which app I'm going to go for, but... Um, I'm just going to review a couple of things. Um, first, let's bring up our little iPhone. Yep. Oh, by the way, I am Carlos Phoenix again, and this is the lounge. So um, let me quickly pull up my iPhone. Mm -hmm. And um, I think one of the things I wanted to show off uh, was some Google stuff. Uh, Google um has a lot of applications both online and also on the iPhone but what's cool about it is that if you were an Android user uh, maybe you switched from an Android phone um, you can take a lot of the stuff with you a lot of people think that some of the Android phones had some exclusive apps and stuff but the strategy of Android or Google is a little bit goes it goes beyond what Apple is doing which is uh, they want you to be able to have anything oh. Sorry about that. They want you to be able to take your apps with you, um, your information with you, no matter what platform you're on. So even if you have a BlackBerry, some of these apps are available for the BlackBerry. But I'm going to focus on the iPhone. So here you'll see my little screen here. And um, I have created a folder that says Google on it. And it's a bunch of Google apps. Now I also have Bing and I have uh, Wikipedia because I, I kind of just clumped everything together as a search uh, options. So, um, one of the things that just came out today was Translate. Now, what's cool is in Translate, it allows you to speak into the phone and translate it to a different language. Um, and it, worst case scenario, especially if you're a traveler, it'll speak it if you don't know how to pronounce things. So, um, one of the searches that I did uh, was I really love using technology of the, the technology of the day. It didn't do perfect interpretation, but was really cool. Um, let me see if I can get the audio. Well, let's see if I can play it loud enough. De la jornada. Now, if you didn't hear it, it spoke in a Latin uh, women's voice, probably uh, with a Spain uh, type accent. Um, What's great is not only does it give you the text, uh, it can pronounce it for you. So if you don't know how to say it to someone, you can let them hear the phone and it will pronounce it correctly. What's also cool is you can then full screen it and let them read on the screen. So if you're in a car and you kind of have to let somebody read it from a distance, it can. So that's one of the cool features on there. Um, you can also translate it back uh, and it'll give you what the little translation that it had was. I really love using technology of the day, which is a little bit different from what I said, but it works for me. So that's, um, again, one app. You can um, log into your Google Gmail account with it, and the app will just function. It's really cool. Of course, you do need internet access at all times in order to do this, so that's uh, something to think about. Now, if you have a Google Voice account, um, there's a Google Voice app. What's really cool about that is if you want... To have a separate phone number like a business number um, here I let me not show all these numbers here you can make phone calls under that number using this application and what it'll do is it'll just call your cell phone and on the other side it's gonna call that person under your Google voice number they don't know that you're not using an actual phone number or cell phone you technically are using a cell phone and it'll ring on your side first and then it'll ring on their side. When they answer, they think to call in or speaking to the person under that number. What's also nice is um, if you have voicemails and things of that nature, you can actually select what calls you missed, um, what incoming calls have come in and they left a mail message. Any text messages they do, they do to that new number of yours will show up here and also show up under your SMS if you have it set up for that. Um, they don't do vid uh, video or picture messaging yet. Google, you know, it's a new technology, so bear with them. Um, 
And basically, little by little, they'll be improving this technology and allowing you to do a lot more things. Um, you can also have some quick down numbers, maybe your previously called numbers, or you can also use um, your phone book and access any one of your contact lists in your iPhone. So it's really integrated, it works really well. So that's Google Voice. Uh, Latitude, Latitude's an awkward one, and there's a lot of issues with it in respect to privacy and so on. So, um, so I'm not gonna have a bunch of that showing, but basically Latitude allows you to uh, friends of your Gmail, uh, it'll map out where the location is provided they have their phone activated and it'll show them where you are provided you have your GPS feature activated and it'll just let them see where you are on the map in uh, almost real time. So let's say I want to see my friend Jay, it'll give me an idea of where he's located right now at this moment. It'll also tell you generally when is the last time they had their phone activated. So. If that thing, if that uh, image doesn't move from the map for a long period of time, um, chances are they just don't have it activated and don't want to have their privacy. But um, if you're the type of person that likes to hang out a lot, um, they might have uh, certain things activated and certain things not activated, and so on. So um, you go into your your settings and you can tell it activate the GPS and it lets your friends know where you are. Um, Google Books basically allows you to download books from Google and you basically would flip across the screen. You can go through the chapters. You can uh, increase and decrease the size of the fonts. Um, Google's had a lot of issues with this. Um, I'm not going to get into Google too much, but there's a lot of uh, copyright issues in question with Google Books, but uh, they're trying to do something that um, a lot of the other book companies are not doing, which is trying to find all un books that don't have an author and publish it so it doesn't get lost in the never being published again type of scenario. Um, but on you can go online and research some of that information. And Shopper um, is uh, the ability for you to check out if you activate your G, uh, your uh, GPS just like I did, it'll basically tell you what kind of sales are around in your local vicinity. You can also take a picture of a product. It'll do a search based on the image to tell you where you can find this product locally. You can also use your voice to name a product and it'll do a Google search for that product and then tell you what local vicinity stores may have it and what prices provided those prices are being shared online. Um, you can also star any one of the products and um, you have your settings here where you can have it alert you of the product when it's found during the process of your search. So if you're in the car and you're just shopping, uh, want, you want to shop really locally, you don't you know, use your voice, you don't type and stuff and not keep your eyes, off, keep your eyes on the road, it'll do a search, it'll find the product and um, it'll vibrate to let you know that it found it. Um, just make sure that your local laws allow you to even use your phone in that way. And I think that's about it. Um, there is one last one. Google Earth, very cool app. Basically, it shows you a Earth and then allows you to zoom into any part of the Earth, city or town or whatever. And uh, as you're going to see here, it'll just zoom in to where I am using my GPS information. And even on the, on the PC or Mac, um, this app is just simply amazing. What's also cool is that it'll allow you to tilt your um your phone and it basically tilts the world in front of you on the on the phone well all right enough of that um i think i went a little long this time but that concludes the show for today and i'm going to go into other apps during the course of the week so please keep watching keep uh joining me uh as i try and venture into this quick little fun time and uh, again, my name is Carlos Phoenix. You can follow me on Twitter at Carlos Phoenix. And you can also find me on Facebook at Carlos Phoenix and theloungemagazine.com. Uh, this episode has been sponsored by The Art of Tees. The Art of Tees is a company that does custom t-shirts that you design and they print, deliver, and so on. They also have new light-up tees. 
So um, if you don't know what that means, go to their website, theartoftees.com, where you can check out a couple of videos where they have teas that light up with sound. That concludes the show. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.